Okay, so in this video, we are going to actually move the data from uh, Excel to SPSS. And when you when you open SPSS, uh, you will find a file that looks like this. Everything is blank, and you have here at the bottom data view and variable view. So my suggestion is that before we drop the data, we uh, actually spend some time on the variable view. We first input the variables and then later we input the data. So click on variable view and follow me. So the first thing that we need to fill is the name of the variable. If I go back to my Excel, the first variable that I have is current, is current, no? if they are currently a student. So I will call this first variable here is. I will call this variable core, and then I click and, and I, I type enter. So now let's go step by step and check if, if everything is fine. Type numeric is fine because it is a number. Um, we have zero and one, that's fine. And uh, we, we can leave this uh, uh, in here. And I always like to change this to zero because uh, this is only one or zero. We don't have 0.5 or anything. So I don't like to have decimals. So I will just write zero. Label is a, another way of calling your variable. So if you want, you can add a label, but I, they don't need it. I usually find with just three letters. Values missing, you didn't change anything in there. Columns, I, uh, the, the column is like the length of your column, I think, I, because it's only going to be one and zero. Sometimes I like to change it also to maybe two because it's, uh, it's it's not that long. It's only one number, so I change it to two. Uh, this is fine. And measure is super important. If you like this thing that I change for decimals and this change, this thing that I change here is only like a visual change, but this is super important, the measure. You need to tell SPSS which type of variable is this variable. Again, if you remember our quantitative lecture, the first one, I told you that there are different types of variables. Nominal variables or categorical variables are variables that only tell you if something is one thing, but it, it doesn't mean that it is better or, or, or worse than the other. So this current variable, if the person is currently a student, is a perfect example because it is not a scale. One to zero, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. It's not ordinal. It's not a ranking. It's not like one was before zero. No, it's a, nor a nominal variable. It, it you only want to tell Excel that this is a student or not. That's it. So you change that to nominal. Let's move to the next variable. The next variable is a uh, female. So let's write in here. Okay. Uh, I will do the same change, uh, visual changes, just to make it clear. And then let's think about measure. It's the same story. It's also a nominal variable because I only want to tell uh, SPSS that this person is female or not. It doesn't mean that one is better or more than zero, no. And it's not a ranking, so nominal. Then age. Uh, age is going to be a bit different. So age, and then I do the visual changes. And here too. And here for measure is going to be a bit different because uh, age is measuring years. So I think that age is actually a scale because the difference, first of all, it, it, one, two, and three, is, it matters, right? It's not like with the nominal. One, if one person is one year old, it, it matters, and the person is two years old, it matters. The second thing is that I think age is a scale because the difference between one, two, and three, and four is exactly the same. It's one year. So it's like meters, one meter, two meters, three meters. It's a scale. It's the same distance between one and two. So I will call this a scale, the, this variable age. Then we move to the next one, which is year of when they started studying. So year, and I have decimals zero, just a visual thing. And let's think through, is it scale, ordinal, or nominal? 
again, I think it's a scale because it's the number of years and the difference between the numbers of years is, is the same. It's one year, one year, one. So let's call it a scale too. Let's move to the fifth one. Are you currently a student or a joint shopping university student? So we call this one uni. So uni, we do the visual changes, uni. Uni is again a nominal variable, right? Because it doesn't matter. I only want to tell SPSS that this person is a student at joint shopping or not. And then we have the level. So interesting here, level, level, I do the changes. And level is the perfect example of an ordinal variable because one means it's bachelor, two means it's master, and three means it's PhD. But the difference between one, two, and three are not exactly the same. It, it doesn't mean that it's not like with age. With age, the difference between 22 and 23 is one year, and 24 is one year. Here is not like that. The difference between bachelor and master is not the same as master and PhD. And more important, we also have other. So when we enter other as zero and we put in here ordinal, SPSS will understand what we mean. SPSS will understand that the zeros in that ordinal uh, variable is other, something that is not in that ranking. So it's perfect example of an ordinal variable. And from here, we move to the, to the happiness variables. And in here, I would like to, uh, Start with HA1, the first question about happiness. So I do the changes. And in here, uh, I reflect again, is it a scale or is it something else? Again, my, even the name says, right? It's Likert scale, we use the Likert scale. So let's call it that this variable is also a scale with the Likert scale. And what we can do from here on is that we can just copy and paste three times because uh, the, the problem is that you have, you still have to write the name HA2, HA3, HA4. And then I don't have to bother about this because they are exactly the same, right? They are all the questions about happiness. That's fine. And then I have motivation and it's the same and balance is the same. They are all scales. So I can copy 10 times, right? Because we have uh, motivation one, motivation two, motivation three, motivation four, five, and then balance one, two, three, four, and five. And everything is a scale and we have the visual changes. So if you go to data view, now it looks like this. Now, now you have many variables in here. And you want to, you, you are now ready to input all the data from, S, from Excel in here. So let's do that. It's very simple. You just make sure that you start from the first observation, which I've, in my case is A3. Also, you make sure that you are in the right order. That's why I follow the order. So then I have current, female, all, everything is in order. And, and you select everything to the right and down, and you copy, copy and then you paste in here. Sometimes it takes some time while it's copying, but there it is. So here is my database. Uh, maybe if you, it looks a bit bad because I, I am obsessed with uh, small things, but if you want, you can change this to three and it will look a bit big. So can you copy it? And then it looks a bit. So you can, you can do it however you want. So now you have the data. So actually, if you go back to the instructions, we are done with this, uh, we're almost done because we still need to generate all the variables, but we need to do that in combination with the point four, which I will do in the next uh, video. So we stop in here, we already captured the data. The next step is to generate that, but we need to do it in combination with a reliability test.